Welcome to the Feeder Protection Relay Training Program. REF 615 is a dedicated feeder protection and control relay for protection, control, measurement, and supervision in utility and industrial power distribution systems, including radial, looped, and meshed distribution networks with or without distributed power generation. The purpose of this training is to learn how to configure the ratio of a current transformers by changing the value of the primary current. Let's consider the features of the display. The display is divided into four main areas. The first area, the heading. The header area at the top of the display view shows the current location in the menu structure. The second area, the icon. The icon area at the upper right corner of the display shows the current action or user level. The current action is indicated by the following characters. U. Font firmware is being updated. S. Parameters are being stored. Exclamation point. Warning and or indication. The current user level is indicated by the following characters. V. Viewer. O. Operator. E. Engineer. A. Administrator. The third area, the content. The content area shows the menu content. The fourth area, the scroll bar. If the menu contains more rows than the display can show at a time, a scroll bar is displayed on the right. The local HMI includes three protection indicators above the display. Ready, Start, and Trip. There are 11 matrix programmable LEDs on the front of the local HMI. The LEDs can be configured with PCM600, and the operation mode can be selected with the local HMI, Web HMI, or PCM600. The local HMI keypad contains push buttons, which are used to navigate in different views or menus. With the push buttons, you can give open or close commands to objects in the primary circuit. For example, a circuit breaker, a contactor, or a disconnector. The push buttons are also used to acknowledge alarms, reset indications, provide help, and switch between local and remote control mode. Next, we will consider the location and function of the buttons. The button of closing the object. The button of opening the object. The escape button allows you to leave the setting mode without saving the values or canceling certain actions. The enter button enables you to enter the parameter setting mode or confirm a new value of a setting parameter. The up and down buttons allow you to move up and down in menus and also scroll active digits of a parameter when entering a new setting value. The left and right buttons enable you to move left and right in menus and also change the active digit of a parameter when entering a new setting value. The key button allows you to activate the authorization procedure when the user is not logged in or log out when the user is currently logged in. The menu button enables you to move directly to the main menu from any other menu and also move between main menu, measurements, and single-line diagram views. The RL button allows you to change the control position, remote or local. The clear button enables you to activate the clear reset view and also clear indications and LEDs. The help button allows you to show context-sensitive help messages. Please, press any key except for question mark to activate the login procedure. Press up or down to select the operator user level. Confirm the selection by pressing enter. Enter the prompted password digit by digit. In this case, it's 1234. Use left and right buttons to activate the digit. 
and enter a character with up and down buttons. Press Enter to confirm the login. The main menu list is presented. Scroll the view down and select Configuration Group. Then, press right to move forward to the submenu. Now scroll down and select the analog inputs. Among the following settings, select three-phase current. Scroll down to a primary current and press Enter to enter the parameter setting mode. Now you can change the current transformer's ratio by changing the value of a primary current to 300 amps. Press left or right to move the cursor to another digit. Then press up to increase or down to decrease the value of an active digit. Press enter to confirm a new value of the setting parameter. Now you can move back to the main menu by pressing left three times. To commit the new settings, select Yes and press Enter. Now, when new settings are confirmed, press the key to log out. Select Yes and press Enter. You successfully configured the ratio of the current transformers and completed a training program. Thank you for your participation.